Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Again, by, joined by Alexis, Mad Dog Brewing Company. We're reviewing a bottle of his Bark Like a Bird. It's 5.2% ABV. And the description is a red white IPA style with sweet chocolate and tropical fruit flavours of mango with blueberries and citrus. This sounds amazing. Let's get some in the glass for you. Bowl condition. Wow, look at that. Look at the way that head's developing. Ooh, a little bit. Look at that. Bottle condition beer. Yeah. I'll yeah. leave it by here for a yeah. moment. So, clarity of the beer. A nice. Almost looks like a traditional bitter, doesn't it? It's got a, yeah. it, it, it's got a golden colour to it, but it's almost slightly kind of bitter looking. Yeah. Uh, nice level of carbonation. One to two finger. Nice head on this one. Uh, what hops have you used in this beer, Alexis? Um, we used uh, there's a bit of summit in it. Shed load of citra, and a shed load of mosaic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So uh, yeah. aroma. Yeah. Aroma. Oh, yes. You really do get that citra. Yeah. It's fantastic. Really good. Grapefruity, piney, citrusy. I'm ready to dive in already with this one. Go for it. 31 degrees. We're standing in front of the vessels. We're brewing. <laughs> it's boiling hot. Got to dive in. It's freaking hot today. It's hot today. Cheers. <laughs> wow and it's still pulling and it's still pulling the bitterness on this beer is absolutely wonderful big punching grapefruity piney citrusy notes 50 IBUs in this beer 50 IBUs but again what I like about this beer is almost and this might sound a little bit novicely, but it's just coming to my mind. It's it's almost like it's got a nice sparkle to it. It's got that nice, lovely carbonation, and it kind of it's very drinkable. Yeah, it's yeah. fresh. It's clean. You can see the steady, you know, steady flow of carbonation, the especially carbonation in my glass. In there, yeah, and that's all from you know bottle conditioned, you know, bottle conditioned so beer. You can get some bottle conditioned beers and. Uh, it looks like an upside down snowstorm, like you know. Yes, yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> but no, that's that's lovely. It's been, even though it's a bottle conditioned beer, it's lovely. Well, it still looks like a very good beer, very good beer. So, and you get that nice maltiness to it as well. What malt have you using this beer? Um, so we got a base malt in there. You've got pale rye, roasted rye, mm. um, or sometimes it could be taught, called chocolate rye. Um, um, there's a bit of Munich in it mm. as well, and again, the Cara. There's a certain, like a bit of sharpness to it that, that just catches your palate, and it makes you, it's one of them beers for me that you've done a big shift in work, you've gone home, you've almost fallen asleep in the armchair, you need to kind of brighten yourself up. This would be the beer to do that, it's got that sharpness that, it kind of brings you back to life, if you know what to I mean. To me, this tastes very much like um, one of those tropical flipping um, fruit drinks that you can you can buy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, what's it called? Um, Sunny, Sunny. Sunny D. Del yeah, that's the one. Sunny Delhi. Yeah, 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 it's got that. It's got that tropical. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm looking out the window here, and it's, it's blue skies are shining, and this is the perfect beer to enjoy. Oh, Summer or even winter time, whatever whatever your preference is. Um, rate your own beer. I'm going to give this one a ten because I, I really do like this one, you know. So, um, and I, although being one of their main core beers, you mm -hmm. know, for a main core beer, I do actually think it's quite hoppy, you know. So. It's just, it's a it's an extremely good beer. I I like it. I think um, Gav's estimation on this beer is almost spot on. I'm probably going to join him on a 10. The reason being, again, the lacing on the glass. This beer, we gave the other beer the three-finger salute, an eight and a half. 
this beer is just knocked up a little bit more with the kind of alcohol by volume and the more malts that you, you've used in the beer just gives the beer a little bit more depth I think. Yeah, a bit and more character yeah, and yeah. you know, so yeah. It's a great beer, it's a great beer. Off this brew kit behind us. Yeah. Off this brew kit. Yeah. So um, join us for another review. Uh, we're going to be doing the granola stout, which sounds amazing. <laughs> we're going to get on with that shortly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to Mad Dog Brewing Company. Cheers. Cheers.